Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. I've just seen Virtual Dagwin go out. No idea where he's going to, but I've taken the opportunity to move the shed because it is a bit in the way. So uh, yeah, the tractor did a good job. Uh, he's going to have a bit of a shock when he comes back just to find his parasol, his incredibly expensive chair. Uh, it took him several tons of wood to make that. And, well, the, <laughs> the concrete block and of course the the shop which is just growing out of control. So he can keep his shenanigans over here. I think that would be the best thing. Oh, oh, blimey. Don't give him any wood. There's enough wood there to make a matchstick. Okay, so on to the real issue that we have today, and that is money, as usual. Uh, I would like to buy a new tractor and a cultivator. I have found, well actually I didn't find the tractor, Many of my viewers did, so thank you to everybody who pointed out the Fiat Agri tractor. Um, yes, it was very highly requested. It does seem to be the obvious one to go for because it's not too expensive and it does offer 160, 180 horsepower, so it's pretty good. Good value for money. Oh, it must come under medium tractors. I never thought I'd go into that category. There it is. So yeah, 33,500 plus extras. But as you can see, this is a tractor which does offer 180 horsepower. Uh, looks like we might be able to do a few modifications. Oh, look at all that. Doesn't change the horsepower, but still, it does uh, change things related to the engine. Uh, we can put a front loader on here. So, well, technically we could actually sell the John Deere today and just get this. I was hoping to keep the John Deere though, for now. I want to replace it with the Massey Ferguson eventually. Um, but yeah, this tractor, sadly, I think it's going to have to go. Because it is worth quite a bit of money. And I don't need it anymore. It's been good. We couldn't have done without it. But it's time has come to go and help somebody else who is starting a survival challenge. Uh, so that will be a bit of money in. But it won't leave us with much. Um, what will we have? We'll have probably just about enough money to buy the tractor. So we will have an empty bank account and we will need to make another, well, at least £10,000 to get the cultivator. Just trying to find it. It might come under disc harrow. Yeah, because I did not download that. <laughs> I don't think we could run that behind our John Deere or even the Fiat. Uh, yes, disc harrows. There we go. Uh, that's it. It's 21000 Yeah, this was the most appropriate one that I could find because it is 10 metres wide. It's folded up here. Um, it does only require 150 horsepower. It's, it's like a surface tickler. It doesn't dig deep, uh, which is all we want. We just want to be able to prepare the, the, the very top surface, the top soil for drilling. So, yeah, I, I need to source £21,000 after buying the tractor. Now, we could, we could just go straight in and buy the cultivator now and, and risk it. This tractor might be able to pull it. This is 100 horsepower. Um, but that is 50 horsepower over. It's 10 meters wide. It's a gamble, either way. Although I suppose it would be a better idea to to buy the cultivator first, because like we're not in desperate need for the new tractor, but we are in desperate need for a cultivator. Even if it means going slower, it might be worth it. So I'm going to put the tractor on this trailer. Since I'm in the mood to pick stuff up today, we will pick it up. Oh, I could have done that more gracefully. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> um, yes, the next owner will not be pleased. Okay, there we go. I will try not to destroy it. It's only because it will be much faster to tow it. It's not the fastest tractor in the world. So yeah, I want to buy the Fiat today. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We will see. Thank you, Kramer. You've done us proud. Here we are. So if I repair it, we can maximise the amount that we can make. Might have to repaint it too. Okay, tuck into this side so we can turn around afterwards. Uh, Kramer... £28 to repair, £500 to repaint. 
Okay, so 3,849. So not enough to buy the tractor anyway. We'd have to sell wood. Um, so yeah, we will definitely spend the money on the cultivator. It's a gamble. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull it. We'll just have to hope for the best. Disc arrows. Um, now, I'm hoping we can go for a different colour without having to pay. Oh, good, we can. Um, I think... Yeah, the blue. The blue looks pretty nice. Uh, support wheels there at the front. I think I prefer that. Hang on. Options, £530. What have I paid for? I don't know. It looks like we we have to spend 21530 Okay, well, in that case, that's just what it is. Right, uh, so we're left with 9575 Obviously, it does seem unlikely that we're going to get the new tractor today. But, yeah, never say never. I wouldn't say we're never going to get it today. Um, because we could just sell a load of wood. Uh, yes, I've detached the wrong thing. Somehow I need to attach it to the back of the trailer. Which is going to be fun. I'll get there eventually. Okay. The thing is that these discs on this cultivator, they really do or on this disc carry. They really do look so small. It's such a shallow thing. Oh, sorry. Such a shallow working depth. Maybe we'll have no problem at all. Let's go and find out. Let's not go and find out. I've just realized I'm probably not going to have enough diesel. Let's go and refill. No more money. 127 pounds. Well, that's not too bad. Of course, we don't have to turn right here, down our main farm entrance track. We can continue on and take the new track, which is just here. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you didn't watch the previous episode, basically I put the track in and I decided I'm gonna put more grass on the left side of us. And of course, tidy up this piece on the right because it looks kind of weird. So that just needs to be... I think I'll plough it. Uh, not cultivated. The rest of it can be cultivated. And not only that, but this piece of grassland just down here, in front of us, that needs to be ploughed and re-drilled with grass. So it can make it much more productive. Okay, so if I just drop off the cultivator then I can spin round, I can take the trailer off, hopefully they put chocks behind it, <laughs> behind the wheels, because I'm going to put it here, not the most sensible place ever. Okay, we seem to be okay. Oh, another log just in there. It's good. I think I'm going to take the front loader off. Right, so at the moment it's looking pretty small. Now it's looking pretty big. I just have this feeling, despite it being 50 horsepower, underpowered, that it's just going to work well. It just feels like it should do. Well, it's working. I think it said the working speed was 9 miles per hour, so obviously it is struggling a bit. But that is quite surprising. Downhill, we should be able to achieve the nine miles per hour. Look at that, just look at that. It just shows how shallow we are doing this. We must only be tickling the first inch or something. But it's working. It's gonna be enough for the seed to germinate. But yeah, we do need to get that feared. We will get the feared. But this is fantastic, because it means we can now get the next crop in the ground. Wow. Okay, that's seven. Seven miles per hour. Oh, we're slipping off a bit. It is slipping. Uh, I'm guessing that is the 
Wait, is it because the tracks under? No, you wouldn't have thought so. Unless it is because it's going too slow. It needs the momentum to keep going straight. I don't know. We'll have to uh, compare how it performs when we put it on the fit. And that is the first run done. The first pass, and that is, that is good. Very, very good working width. 10 meters behind a 100 horsepower tractor. You would never believe that was going to work. Okay, well, we're going to do all of it. Um, we don't have to go over the plowed bit, obviously. Struggling a bit more now, but I think we're going to be okay overall. amazing we're almost done so there's me thinking this cultivation work would have been an absolutely massive job and I would just be sat here all episode going up and down and in actual fact no uh, because we can pull this just about with this tractor it's done except for the odd bit over there where it slipped uh, so I'll just go and do that and then yes the stubble on the other side needs to be ploughed that needs to be ploughed which we'll do in April which will be very soon but I'm just thinking maybe before we rest and move on to the next month, it would be good to put the grass in on this side. Like a little bit on that side doesn't matter. But the majority on this side, that would be very handy. Give it a head start. Okay, I was a little bit over there as well. Um, but yeah, this is really starting to look quite good. So we'll be able to get the next crop of uh, cereal in as well. Well, at least I think it's going to be... I don't know, maybe all seed rape or something. Um, I did have a suggestion to do bees, and that is a, a very good suggestion. If we did do bees, and uh, if we had bees and put them near to the field, we would get a bonus on certain crop types, such as canola. So anyway, there we go. Let's just get this taken back. Yeah, I think I do need to plough that instead of cultivate it because I need to get rid of the old grass it's not going to be as productive but what an amazing tool this is absolutely fantastic done such a good job and it's going to help the farm massively obviously as soon as we do have the power we can upgrade to a, a deeper cultivator instead of a surface tickler I don't know what this is actually intended for I think maybe after plowing just to break up the soil a bit don't know if you just go straight onto stubble with that particular disc harrow. Uh, maybe you do. Anyway, yes, where is my drill? There it is. We do still have some, is it seed or is, I think it is seed. That bag that's slouching over there. Oh, we're already pretty full. Uh, and we're already set to grass. But yeah, we'll top it up. There we go. So I suppose the question is going to be how far across do we want to go? Obviously we don't want to take up a huge amount because we still need to do our cereal crops or whatever, combinable crops. Uh, we are going to have this as grass, but I don't think we need to go quite as far as that. I think probably here. Okay, so obviously we don't have GPS because this is... Well, we don't, I don't use GPS anyway, generally, because I just always prefer to go by eye. Um, otherwise, we, otherwise, we're just sat here. 
do like to control the tractor. So I'm following a little marking. Don't know if you can see the same marking that I'm following, but it's a natural marking in the texture of the ground. Might have come off it a little bit, I'm not too sure. But it'll be okay. It also means I can drill right up to this because it is grass. It's not like you're having two combinable crops together. Okay, and there it is. I can neaten it up over time. Right, so if I keep going like this, then hopefully, once I've rested in a few minutes time, this will have germinated, this will be at least on its first growth stage, and it'll be a good shade of green. We'll be able to really see things a bit clearer. And then we can move on, do the rest of the field over there, do that piece over there, plow up that piece over there, and then yeah, we'll be on the right track. I think this is this is starting to look really good. Okay, so we do still have quite a bit of daylight left, so we can certainly do the piece over there with the plough and then go over it with the drill. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I was meaning to look at. Uh, the fear, it would be really good if it could have a front three-point linkage. I'm not too sure if it does. But it could come under one of these different configurations. Oh, we can. Fantastic. So we would have to have that. It's going to push the price up by £1,500. But yeah, it's not... It's not too bad. Okay, so what we need to do is grab the plow, which is just there. Lots of tomatoes being produced. The price for the tomatoes is not super good for quite some time. It'd be nice when we can sell some. Uh, I need to allow create fields. There we go. And this is where I need to be careful not to destroy the track. See how easy it is? It looks worse though than it is because obviously this is going to be put back to grass again. So it'll look much more natural. Always the trickiest part. Obviously if the worst comes to the worst I could just uh, retexture it. Like if I accidentally swerve off to the right like a crazy person. But I would try not to do that. I'm holding myself back. Hmm. It will still need doing though. Because it is uh, certainly looking a bit messy. Okay, well with that edge done, I can lift up. I can go into construction, landscaping, painting, um, I think it, it was dirt, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was dirt. I think the safest way of doing this is by setting it a little bit wider. We're taking in more at a time. Okay, that's that nice, neat and tidy. That little green haze there will disappear. It will become incorporated into the grass. And yeah, we just need to go back up again. Don't worry about the way I'm using the plough. It, it really doesn't matter. So get this piece done. 
uh, yeah, we need to start moving virtual Dagoon, all of virtual Dagoon stuff, because that is in the way. The tent is really, because I want to start moving everything towards the uh, cliff face. <laughs> Probably not what you'd normally want to do. But yeah, we need to start building the yard. And I actually found an even better place to put the sheds, somewhere more level. Because this top section isn't that level, but it's okay for the house. Or the tent. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to back up again. Just get this lower quality grass incorporated into the field. I've noticed this tractor isn't super fast in reverse. Maybe it's because we're in automatic. And that should be good. Okay, fantastic. So that area I was just mentioning is actually down here. It will still need some levelling, but it's, all, it's not too bad. Just here. It just seems more level. So we'd have to take some trees down. But we don't have the money anyway. We, we need to wait until we've got the money. But I want to build sheds as soon as possible. Uh, as I said, we're going to use, hopefully, Lancy Boy's fantastic sheds. If you haven't seen Lancy Boy's sheds, I've actually used some on uh, my O Bailu series. They are fantastic. There's even a workshop. Okay, so let's just get this piece done and then we're going to go to bed. Everything should have gone green by the morning. Yep, so now you can really see, well you'll see even more in the morning how good the track looks. Before, it looked really out of place. But now, well, in 20, well, not in 24 hours, in 12 hours, it's going to look very, very natural. And that's it done. I can't wait to see what it looks like. So, let's turn the engine off, uh, leave the tractor there, and I'll see you in the morning. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that. What a transformation. I know it's pretty fast uh, germination, but I'm pleased. Oh, that looks so good. I think we're going to have to get an aerial shot. Let's go up into the air. The farm really is starting to come together, even though it has no sheds. It just looks good. Um, I probably won't do it because it would take up too much field space, but we could put trees all the way down, it'd be like a really posh entrance to the farm. Um, but yeah, I think actually I might start using this as the main entrance instead of the one through the trees. Which means, although I didn't want to do it, we could take more trees down to sell and then extend this grass field up and then even maybe eat into the track, get rid of the track and, and incorporate it into this field. Because we own, what do we own? We own all the way up here. Do we own that piece of track? We just own the edge of it. So we basically we own all these trees here. This field could extend. I do like having the trees, but obviously the neighbours have got loads of trees too. So uh, yeah, we can't uh, jeopardise making lots of money just to keep those. And anyway, we could plant more in a different location once we have more money. But that is just great. I absolutely love looking at that. So all of that area, which now looks to be about half of the field, that is going to be drilled next time. It will still be in April though. For now, I'm going to get this area here ploughed up. I still am obviously having a problem with these stumps. Now I think the only way I can actually get rid of them, since Lumberjack doesn't like these ones, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get some form of stump grinder. There may be some really low cost alternative on ModHub, I really don't know. But I think for today we, we can probably work around them. I might even be able to drill over them. Just get rid of them in the future. It's not ideal, but there really is not much I can do. Because we certainly can't afford to uh, go buying stump grinders. 
It would be nice if there is some kind of really vintage stump grinder. Because that would just be a really fun thing to use. If it was only £500 or something, we could go along grinding them all out. Okay, where's my plough? But I think that's a good plan. Yeah, if we can take down a load more trees next time, and then buy the fit, and then after that we can hopefully buy some buildings, that would be good. Right, allow create fields back on again. I need to keep this neat. There's a little piece there which is. I think I missed it with the drill, didn't I? It's where I stopped. Well, just to make sure I'll plow it up again. Then I'll be forced to go over it. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get all this done. I think we're going to keep these trees here. Okay, those stumps really don't seem to be causing any problem at all, so that's fine. We will get them out, obviously, but we need to make sure we can get the equipment to get them out first. So we just have this final piece down here, and then, yeah, this will just turn into that nice green colour again next time we rest. So I think, uh, to conclude, we are going to have time to do an application of a liquid fertiliser on the, uh, the two pieces of grass. Oh, that's the first one I've caught. Two pieces of grass over there. I think we're done. Looking good. Right, so yes, I also consumed all of the seed in the bag. It's attached to this really nice fertilizer sprayer. And we do have the liquid fertilizer over there. Might as well top it up. Yeah, so it would be just easier to see where we have and haven't been whilst the grass is nice and short. So we might as well do it. That silly gas store thing is in the way. Virtual dagger win. Uh, that's definitely working. You can see the darker coloured texture. Uh, it's pretty fast. It's a nice fast job. We do still have the granular fertilizer uh, spreader. I'm not too sure if we're going to keep it. Obviously, we're going to use everything that's in it first of all. In fact, the, the perfect place to use that will be in the field that we just drilled. And you can see where I was coming out of the um, field area that we own, the plot that we own. So I don't really like doing that because it leaves it messy and it doesn't disappear. So, I suppose I could maybe texture it to get rid of it, but it's just not ideal. I really hope the next time we cut this, which won't be too long from now, uh, we'll be able to do silage. If we can do silage, most likely silage bells, that'd be great. Uh, we can do um, a silage pit. But we have two expenses if we do a silage pit. We'd have to get a forage wagon, or a loading wagon, and the pit itself, which might be quite expensive. I think it would be cheaper just to get a bell wrapper. But even those, they don't come cheap. So we'll have to see. 
have to see what's available on ModHub. Okay, so I'm going to complete all of this. We'll then go over to the other side, we'll get all that done, and then we'll wrap things up for today. But I think that's probably one of the biggest transformations we've had on this farm. It's really starting to look good. final base. I'm loving this. This is getting so good. I don't know if it's just me that's getting overexcited about it, but just when you when you do something which looks good, like it's simple track, um, just really does give you the motivation to keep evolving things even faster, really. We just need the money. And then this there'll be a yard here. I can picture it in my head. Sadly, I can't show you the inside of my head. <laughs> so, um, no, yeah, I know roughly what it's going to look like. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be pretty good. But I have changed a few things, as I mentioned. I'm probably going to have most of the buildings down there because it's more level. I think we will have one shed up here, but this might be more of a production area. I want to get the maple syrup production. Anyway. Um, oh wow, look at all the tomato pallets. Doing very well. Yeah, we're going to leave it here. So I think I have covered everything. I don't think there's anything else to do. Let's just make sure that fertilizer is looking good. First application, final application. So that's good. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.